Swapping your gold for cash has become increasingly popular in recent years. And when Lisa Tate from Greenock decided to sell an expensive watch, which she rarely wore, she thought she'd try one of the dozens of companies who offer great prices for unwanted jewellery. My husband bought me the watch on a holiday to Turkey 11 years ago. It's just been in my jewellery box, not really doing anything. I thought it would be nice to use the money from the watch to go on holiday with my daughter. Lisa found an impressive-looking website for a company called the British Gold Refinery, who were promising excellent rates and first-class service. Their website looked professional, and it stated that if I wasn't happy with their price, they would return it within 10 days, no quibbles. To get a price quote, Lisa entered the watch's weight and carat into the website's online calculator. And she was delighted when they said that they would pay her more than £500 for it. So she posted off the watch. But then after they'd received it in early March, the British gold refinery rang her up to say that in fact they would only pay her less than half of what they'd originally suggested. I was offered £214 and I was angry because I felt that the, mis the website was misleading. Um, there was no way I would have sold the watch for that. Now, one of the reasons the company gave for the reduced offer was that they said the watch was 13 carat and not 14 carat, as Lisa had said. They also claimed that the weight was wrong as well. But Lisa found all of that just hard to believe. I know this to be the weight in carat because I've had an expert valuation done for insurance purposes in the past. And I'm afraid the bad news didn't stop there. Lisa was told that if she turned down the £214 offer and wanted her gold returned, she would have to pay an administration fee to cover an expert valuation which they had carried out, plus postage and packing, all of which they said added up to £50. I was shocked because their website had kept saying free quotation, free valuation, free return if you're not happy with the quotation that we give you. Lisa told the British Gold Refinery she was not happy with their offer. And although they did increase it, first to £302 and then to £350, that was still a lot lower than the quote they'd given her in the first place. Well, by now, whatever they offered her, Lisa no longer wanted to deal with the company. I wouldn't sell my watch to the British Gold Refinery, even if they offered me the full value of it. I would rather flush it down the toilet than give it to them. Lisa found herself up against a deadline because the company told her that if within 14 days she didn't accept their final price of £350 or stump up the £50 to have her gold returned, then she would automatically be paid just the £214 they'd previously offered and the watch would then be destroyed. They told me that if I didn't pay within 14 days it would be melted down and for that reason I felt that I had no choice but to pay the £50. But intrigued as to why that expert valuation had cost so much, she asked the company to email her a copy. The expert valuation was worded, one watch with straps, valuation £302, which works out at £10 a word. It's a complete rip-off. I could get a proper expert valuation for half that price. The British Gold Refinery told other customers who'd complained about the £50 administration fee that they'd paid it because they had not ticked the quote-only box on the envelope and had therefore consented to a valuation. Now, Lisa admits that that's an error she also made, but had tried to correct it. When I realised my mistake, I called them and spoke to a telephone operator who assured me that she had put a note on my account to that effect and that I wouldn't be charged the £50 admin fee, but they still charged. Lisa says she didn't spot the admin fee because it was buried deep in the terms and conditions on the company's website. And the Advertising Standards Authority would agree with that. Last year, they ruled that the British Gold Refinery should clearly display the administration fee on their website. And in fact, the company has gone further than that. After we got in touch to query Lisa's charge, they told us that they've now scrapped their return fees altogether. 
They say although they have always aimed to provide the best price for the gold sent to them and the best customer service, they've listened to customers and as a result have changed their policy. Anyone unhappy with a quote who wants their gold back will now get it free of charge with no return fees applied. But we wondered whether the rest of Lisa's experience was a one-off. So we sent three pieces of gold to the British Gold Refinery, valued by a professional jeweller at £848. This piece is 14 karat gold. Um, I've weighed it at 25.27 grams. They instantly beat the jeweller's valuation by quoting us more than £900. But after they received our items, they reduced their offer to £335.94. So naturally, one of our team rang them straight away. You know, I was expecting over £900, really, for what I've sent in. They then upped their offer to £360, a bit of an improvement, but still over £500 less than their original quote. They claimed that our bracelet contained only half as much gold as certified by our jeweller. And the other two items were a lower carat. So we decided to decline the British Gold Refinery's offer and ask for our gold back. It's, it isn't what I was, I was hoping for at all, so um, I'd just prefer to, to have them sent back if that's OK. They promised to call us back, but I'm afraid the phone didn't ring. We also emailed to make sure that the company knew that we were very unhappy. We were then told to contact their returns department. So we called the British Gold Refinery a further three times to ask for our gold back, and it was returned five days after we first asked. But our experience with what they offered to pay was very similar to what had happened to Lisa. So why had they initially quoted so much more than they were willing to pay? When we asked them just that, the British Gold Refinery told us that they were unable to comment without proof our valuations were for the same items that we'd sent them. They also said that their valuations are based on the scrap value of gold, not a retail, resale or insurance price, which they say may explain the discrepancies between their valuations and the ones from our jeweller, although in fact his valuations were done in exactly the same way. The company also says how much they offer takes into account their cost and profit margins, which is a usual and expected business model. And they believe their prices to be a fair estimate for the gold in the items sent. They've stressed that the initial price they quote is simply a guide based on the spot price of gold. The exact prices can only be confirmed once they've received the actual items. But none of that holds much weight, I'm afraid, with the jeweller who did our initial valuation. Not saying that, that we're always going to be the best person in town, um, but I think a £500 differential is a huge amount um, to be thinking about. At 335 it, ju it just seems to be that they haven't read the gold properly. There are plenty of other gold companies that you've told us don't pay anything like the price initially quoted. So the best advice is to do what we did. Get your gold accurately weighed and valued before you send it off. And then shop around so that you can be sure that you are getting a fair price. Lisa did get her watch back and she eventually sold it to another company who paid out exactly the same price that they first quoted her. But she's still been left feeling very frustrated by her dealings with the British gold refinery. To me, it's underhand and misleading and it shouldn't be allowed to happen. Now, you can find more information on how to sell your gold safely and effectively on our website. It's bbc.co.uk forward slash ripoff Britain.